Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Wake Up Charlotte Weekend. It is Science Sunday. Yay. And of course, I'm so excited to have me you too. here. You've done one with me before. Uh -huh. So this is one that some kids may have heard about before. So it's called making a milk rainbow. And basically what you need for it is you need milk that's not skim. So it okay. needs to have some kind of fat in it. This sure. is 2%. You're going to need food coloring, liquid dish soap, and preferably Q-tips. You don't necessarily need those. but. I'm going to explain the science behind it first, but I'm going to kind of walk you through it, Meg. Okay. So we have our milk already in a glass pan that has some sides or just even like a plate with some kind of edge. You just don't want it to spill off. Sure. So I want you to make a red dot and a yellow dot okay. with your food coloring. Our food coloring. And I'm going to make one with green and blue. Okay. I gave myself the darker color, so if it stains my fingers. <laughs> it won't get over all no. over me. Exactly. Okay. Kind of be a good friend. So, so anywhere, I'm just like. Yeah, anywhere. Like right here. Here. Yeah. So what you're going to notice is that it's going to create like the colors and stuff in the milk because of course it has fat particles. Oh, wow. Mine's not, my, my red's, red's not really doing it. Yeah, your red's not looking so good out there. Um, but that, so I'm going to put some blue in here. And so basically, oh, you're just gonna <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, yours is doing uh, maybe great. Maybe I gave myself the darker colors because I was trying you, to be selfish. Yeah, just exactly. <laughs> just um, so what happens if like you're just, if you take a regular cotton swab uh -huh. and you were to like dip it in here, oh, you yeah, can see nothing. your, nothing's really happening. Yeah. But what happens if you add a little bit of liquid dish soap, you gotta get it all okay. nice and globbed up on there. Just watch what happens. You see how it starts to kind of create oh, the color cool. spin? Sorry, it's really hard to see, so I think we're gonna take our top camera. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so now your turn. Okay. Now to pull it out and do it again. You see how it starts to like change and kind of yeah. make that feature? Okay, so I'll tell you what happens. I wish your red was a little bit I know, more visible. I, I, do I think too. the blue took over. Okay, so the science behind this is is that milk has fat particles in it, you know, mm -hmm. because it's not skim milk. And so what happens is that um, wow. when you have anything with fat particles and water in it and you give it what's called a surfactant, I know it's like really scientific, but yes. basically that's what the liquid dish soap is. Um, surfactants have particles that like to attract themselves to water, which uh -huh. are called hydrophilic or also deflect water, which are called hydrophobic. Okay. So what happens is once you add that liquid dish soap, basically the molecules kind of pulling and pushing each other apart, it changes the surface tension. So that's why you go from kind of just like dipping it all in there to kind of like this little bit of kind of This is gorgeous, to be honest. Yeah. It's like, it looks like marble to me. Oh, you know? should we like, redo your counter? Yeah, like exactly, this? with this. Um, so it's just kind of like a little thing that you could do at home, it's really yeah. easy. And um, you know, I tried to do the rainbow factory, even though the red decided not to cooperate today, oh, just because I kind of wanted to talk about, um, we can talk to kids, you know, about what rainbows are, you know, why they're so pretty, things like that. Um, but it also, I think is a good opportunity to kind of talk about nice weather because I feel like a lot of these experiments that we've done on Wake Up Charlie Week can have been like rain and snow and things sure. like that. But this is a fun one to do at home and um, pretty much the more colors you have the better. Um, clearly we can see that dark colors like the, to dominate. Yes. So if your kids like the color blue, then they <laughs> go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so you have basically the fat, of course, and those water molecules in mm -hmm. the milk. Um, once you put in the surfactant, it kind of reacts and then that pulling and parlet pulling and pushing apart of the water molecules allows for this beautiful cool thing. Creation. Yes, I love it. Yeah, thanks Great for job, Brittany. Yeah, thank you for showing me this. So uh, maybe you can like make some milk rainbows at home. 